Look at that monster. Look at that. To the little, don't know, what should we call it? I could call it the bunker, but then there's another chainsaw and axes YouTuber that calls their little space the bunker. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, don't know what you think about him either. Do you watch him or do you not? Anyway, look at this. Well, you've just seen it. Look at this monster of an axe. This is an ML forged Marsis Lippins, 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 don't know, Marsis, tell me, tell me how you pronounce your name. Um, this is a splitting axe, so you guys enjoy the video I did on this one, this little guy, this little 1.4 kilo forest axe. Well, that sort of came later, the axe I originally ordered from Marsis was this one but it took longer because he hadn't made it yet. Um, so this is a 5.8 pound splitting axe. Hopefully you can see there the profile. It is a very fat profile axe, um, which I hung last night, finally, as I was saying on the last video, um, on this beautiful handle from Owen who is Elemental Race here on YouTube. Um, it's worth following him on Instagram and getting in touch with him if you want a handle. Um, he makes these handles with these really nice palm swells, um, sells them for about 80 quid, I think. Um, and they are lovely. I have a few of them now, and they are really nice. So yeah, this, really these two are like all the axes you would ever need, really. Um, that one is will split wood surprisingly well actually this one um but it's really a light forest camping maybe kind of axe i'm not sure um and then this one is just a splitting beast which after i had it last night i did give it a little go in a really big round of uh oak that i've got fairly freshly cut oak from the field of dreams um, and it just <laughs> obliterated it. It really did. The balance, this handle is probably on the small side. If you have a look, the balance is ever so slightly a little bit too far into the head. Don't know if that's a problem. I don't know. It seems to swing it's just ever so slightly there. Um, and for reference, this one is probably a bit too long because it's this one goes the other way. The balance point on this one is about here. Um, so yeah, the it's just a monster. And I thought I'd just do a little video, throw it up, just to show you, can I shine that in your face? Just to show you this absolute beast of an ax. I can't wait to get out splitting with it. Um, old man talking about the weather warning. Um, but yes, there's been more bad weather in the UK, so uh, yeah, we've not been able to get out, I'm afraid, um, for the last weekend. Um, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. This, this is a splitting axe, so it's not that sharp. But this axe, I've done quite a bit with, actually. And it is still sharp enough to cut paper. Look at that. Look at that. Knife sharpening is something I'm just getting into again. I've played with it for a few years with the stones and everything else. Um, and I, yeah, I'm just starting to get back into it actually, go a little bit further again with it. Um, and it's interesting actually, the axes have helped me with that. They've helped me learn a bit about that. Um, what was I going to show you? Yeah, look, this is that plum that I got from New Zealand from my wonderful mate. Over there, Rakers Down. Thank you very much, Mr. Rakers Down, who has a fantastic selection of chainsaws. Do go back and have a look at that New Zealand trip, um, because most of the saws, or a lot of the saws, there are his. 
and they are amazing. The immaculate still, that immaculate 066 and 046 are his. I just wanted to show you, so this little 1.4 kilo, so about three, just over three pound head, that, that is a size comparison for you there with a plum 4.2 pound. So you can see there, but look at this. Look how much bigger that is. It is amazing. It just gets, just gets dwarfed, doesn't it? You know, I can, I can hide the whole plum head behind that. Look at that. So it is a beast, massive edge, massive weight. Although, I've not, I've got an axe over five pounds really, and it doesn't feel, doesn't feel un, un, doesn't feel like it would kill you using it for quite a long time. So I'm very excited to get out and do some splitting with that. I think it's going to argue with bad or hard to split wood very easily. So um, yeah, super excited to get out with that. Um, so yeah, thought I'd do a little video filming up for you on this beauty. Um, no one seemed to like the 268 video. No one seems, you all seem much happier. Videos seem to get way more views when chainsaws are broken. <laughs> I guess you don't want to see them fixed. But anyway, I am very happy that saw's fixed. Um, and again, we'll do more of that stuff, more with that saw, just as soon as we can get outside. Um, because I'm really excited to get out and use it because it feels quite strong actually. So yeah, much more firewood incoming. And actually, this axe is going to be really good on that blue spruce. There's some more of that for me to go and get. That's some of the hardest stuff I've had to split. I used to be a believer in the internet folklore that the softwood was easy to split. But uh, that spruce is really, really stringy. And it seemed way harder to split than the ash and the oak and some beech and stuff that I've been splitting for the last couple of years. So, very crazy stuff. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting this on that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. Stop waffling and stop boring you. There's not much we can do in a static video to show you this. But the um, hopefully we'll get out soon and show you this in action. Um, yeah, just on axes, that um, Collins four and a half that I've got, I'm not sure if it's a Tazif. It looks too, like the sides are quite parallel. So if you, if you know axes, let me know what you think about that. I showed it on the, the end of the last video, the end of the 268 video. So yeah, very happy with these two axes. As I say, I think there's probably a bit of an axe armistice coming up um, because I've been very lucky. I've got some really nice axes now. So I think some of them, I've got too many. I think some of them need to go. So yeah, some of you guys that I know that I've traded swords with and stuff before, I know are keen. Um, so yeah, I'll have a look through, but if you are looking for something particular, let me know and we'll see what we can do. I'm very keen to help you guys out because you help me out. Um, yeah, on that note, obviously we've got monetized now, which is great. I'll probably do a comedy video at some point soon about how little YouTube pays you. But it is Monday today, so I've been monetized for just over a week. And it looks like at the moment we're averaging about 80 pence a day. So, we're not going to buy any chainsaws for you to test, for me to test for you off the back of that anytime soon. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we can buy a couple of chains every couple of months or something. I keep saying that. Is that something you want to see? Um, I don't know. Um, let me know. But yeah, if you do want to do one of you guys that um, is a subscriber has done the memberships thing. So if you do want to support me, you can do the memberships thing. And I think pay two pounds a month or something, which if we get a few of you doing that, then that will be able to push on a little bit so I can get some more stuff to review for you. And obviously this channel's for you guys really. So if there's something you want me to buy, to test, to see how it is, to see how it fares, or a saw, to see how it goes against a 500i or a 7900 or a 394, then let me know. We can do that. And then maybe, yeah, maybe we can do some stuff like giveaways and things like that. Are you interested in any of that? Or 
not really James, just get on and go and buy some more silly saws that are broken that you can bring back from the dead. Maybe I should open a book on when the 268 bearing is going to go. Because, um, yeah, if you go right back to the beginning of the series on that, that was in a bad way, that saw. So, yeah, we'll see. But I'll wrap it up there. Stop boring you. Stop wittering on. Um, hope you're really well. Hope you managed to get out and cut some wood. And um, look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Do a subscribe if you're not subscribed. Cheers. Take it steady. Bye-bye.